Should I start making videos in my room? Cause this is so cute. If you find an eyelash, make a wish. And then we're almost done. It's the way that you guys get to see the ADHD. Muy a la vi, solita, pues me pregunté ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita, eso fue descomunal Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es Cómo se lo mami Hola and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally, or welcome to Time with Tally if you've never been on my channel before. My name is Tally and I do fitness and lifestyle type of content with a little dash of beauty. I'm trying to get better at doing that part. Anyways, so for today's video, I'm going to show you guys my gym makeup routine. Usually I have you guys in my office where I have my vanity and also my desk, but I switched my house around and I'm gonna show you guys that. And maybe you can give me some ideas on decoration. So as of right now, we are actually in what used to be my living room. And now I have a bigger bedroom. So love that for me. I will be making this a part one and part two series probably. But without further ado, let's get right into it. I wanted to just sit on the floor of my room and feel like a little girl again while I put makeup on in the mirror. So that's what we're going with. <laughs> All right, to begin, I start with a moisturizer. I haven't reached the point in my... Oh, Hi. I love when she initiates affection or contact. I love it. Oh, I must. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna go give her cuddles. What the hell? If you're a cat owner, you know what just happened. Uh, I haven't reached the point in my journey yet that I have found a moisturizer that is just the one moisturizer I will get every time. My skin does fairly okay with whichever moisturizer I choose as long as it's not an oily one. I do have really oily skin. Usually I'll go with some type of oil-free moisturizer. So right now I'm using the CoverGirl Mattifying Oil-Free Moisturizer. So I'm gonna just take my fingers and I'm gonna apply a little bit all over my face. Know what I got, know what I want. Boy, don't get me wrong. We're having fun. I use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. My face does get red pretty quickly, fair warning, but it's not irritated. I feel like it's more just excited. Like, ooh, physical touch, something we never get. <laughs> I gotta go wet my sponge. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So I put a little bit of this on the back of the cap of the bottle. Nothing too crazy. I do have lots of acne scars. So again, I personally don't really care if you can see some of them through the BB cream. But it don't mean that I'm in love. I like you a lot. But you gotta step up. I'm through trying to tell you what to do. How to make me fall for I'm actually pretty decent at doing makeup, honestly. Sometimes my friends say that I'm too rough. Like I was just going over my eye and I'm like, dang, I'd be, I'd be almost like punching myself in the face sometimes. I'm like, wow, my eye is not gonna come out. Hold on. I have a story for you guys really quick. I was working at this nursing home for quite a while. I had been taking care of this patient. I knew this patient pretty well. At least I thought I did, right? I was wrong. One day the activities woman comes up to me and she's like, hey, I think you need to go check on so-and-so. They say that they're not feeling well and they need your help. I said, okay, where are they? She said, oh, we put them back in their room. I said, okay, cool, I'll be right over. Head over to check on the patient and the patient has their hands like cut over their face. And I'm just like, is this person crying? Like what's going on? I'm like, hey, like how you doing? Like, is everything okay? I was told that you don't feel that great. And the person is like, no, it's okay. I just been sneezing a lot and coughing, so. Yeah, and then they look up at me, and I'm not even joking, their eyeball was on their cheek. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. When I say the first instant reaction was, I need to call the hospital, I need to call 911, I'm freaking out right now, their eyeball is on their cheek. I can't do this, this is not what I was trained for. I, I started panicking, literally all within one millisecond. Of course I found out very quickly that it was a prosthetic eye. Duh. So my anxiety and panic were definitely relieved very quickly. Thank the Lord. Later on, the family member came in and I was like, hey, can you, um, can I ask you something? And she was like, yeah, what's up? Why is it nowhere in the patient's chart that, um, they have a prosthetic eye? She was like, oh, it, it should have been in there. I, I thought I told you guys. Ma'am. We have had this patient for years. Why does nobody know this? Excuse me, that would've been nice to know. Cause then I had to go put it back in. I know how to, don't get me wrong and I did it fine. But anyway, 
<laughs> Next I go in with some contour and this is actually a very old Sephora one But it has that gray cool tone that I like I prefer the one that has like the gray cool tone I feel like it gives more of a shadow which is what a contour usually is for I'm not a pro or anything I just like what I like so I put that under here Period. Face. Look at that. I just got a fucking cheekbone. My whole family actually has some pretty nice cheekbones. My great grandmother, gorgeous cheekbones. I got them from her. You, you should learn that on your own. I play cool, cause I hope you pick it up soon. And you know just what to do. Don't you? Boy, just be honest. Now that our faces are sculpted to the gods, we're gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. So let's get into my life update. A lot has been going on, so I obviously have taken about two weeks or so off from posting on YouTube. One being, I finally passed my NCLEX a couple weeks ago. That was fantastic, amazing, love that. So I've been in LPN for like six years now. I graduated nursing school for my RN last year, but just due to life and a bunch of things happening, I honestly, I didn't take my NCLEX till this year. Your bronzer doesn't have to go everywhere that you put your contour. I just personally like it like that. Putting some warmth back into the face. So I finally applied to actually a hospital to do emergency department. I feel like I would do pretty well in a fast paced, you know, high adrenaline type of environment. And I also wanted to be able to work with all ages and be pretty efficient in working with people of all ages, backgrounds, cultures, you know, whatever it is. I think the emergency department is a beautiful place to do that, especially where I live. There's lots of, you know, diversity here. I'm gonna go in with some blush now. I have this like four, what is it called? Murillo Twins Beauty Creations. I don't fucking know. I got it in an Ipsy bag and it works fine. I use these two colors for bronzer and then I usually use this one for my blush. I do prefer more, you know, like peachy tones. I don't like the brighter pinks. I don't feel like they look good on my skin tone. Everybody, everybody applies blush differently. I like to do it higher up and almost in my temple region. I feel like that's what really lifts my face sometimes. So anyways, I had the interview. Long story short, I think I did well. They want me to come in in shadow and see what the ED is like. You know, I'll be following another nurse and seeing how it goes. So I'm very excited for that. So I will keep you updated if I get the job. I'm very excited to do this because also I have a friend that actually works in that ED. Fingers crossed she'll be able to help me transition. I really do want to just get ED experience because I do eventually want to travel. I'm going to be going in with my Cody Airspun translucent powder now. I put some in the cap and just grab my beauty sponge. Tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna let that powder sit for just a little bit while I do my eyebrows. So I just brush out my eyebrows really quick and then I take another tiny little, I don't even know what kind of brush, eyebrow brush, line brush, something that is teeny enough to basically just fill in some lines. I don't need to do anything crazy with my eyebrows. I personally like eyebrow powders versus gels. I think that my hair is already pretty dark on my face, so I like it to not be as crazy in darkness at least. So I just like to fill in mostly like my tail and wherever I actually have some bald spots. So usually maybe like in the front. The way I do my eyebrows for the gym is definitely way less precise than it would be if I was doing a full glam. If you guys wanna see a full glam look and how I do it, let me know. I haven't done it in a while, but I'm down to show you what I can do. Other than that, for the most part, I don't mind if these are like not exactly 110% perfect. They're sisters, not twins. Bye. I don't make it easy, but I'm worth a while. All that I ask is for you to please my every need to put in the time. All right, so now that the powder is off and we've already blended it, I forgot. I forgot what I was talking about. Hold on. What was I doing? Oh, my eyelashes. Okay. It's the way that you guys get to see the ADHD. Trying to tell you what to do, how to make me fall for you. You should learn. I think curling my lashes and the mascara is definitely my favorite part. I feel like that's what really brings everything together. I can't be a lady. I'm 
not gonna lie, I've been here like 10 minutes sitting down. My hips, oh my boy. Hold on, let me go stretch. And then we're almost done. Oh, oh my God. If you see my laundry in the back, I have to put it away. Mind your business. Should I start making videos in my room? Cause this is so cute. Don't look at my curtain, okay? I rolled it up. It's a really tough curtain and I don't have one of those things that clips it to the side. So I just roll them up. Mind your business. It's leg day today too. I hate leg day. If you find an eyelash, make a wish. <laughs> so another life update that I'm so excited for, I'm gonna be bringing you all with me. I signed up for a new gym. I love my gym that I usually go to, my home gym. I was definitely feeling like I needed a little bit of a change. I was told by many of my friends, and also when I went there, I noticed this, that lots of content creators actually go to this gym. So I'm very excited to, you know, maybe make some new friends, maybe make some new content creator friends that I can maybe collab with and just learn. I, I'm, I'm very much in the market right now to just learn and create new experiences. So I'm very excited to hopefully meet some people in my area that I haven't met yet. My home gym has definitely gotten very busy lately, which is amazing. I'm so glad that people are going to the gym, but it definitely does make it a little bit more difficult to get workouts done at the time that I go, usually in the afternoons. I will still be going to my home gym. It's just probably not as often. Mascara's done, found some fantastic. And I'm usually pretty good to go after this. Where's my setting spray? I will say this, I don't play about my setting spray. When it comes to setting spray, I make sure I get a good amount. And that is how I do my makeup. All right, so this is what the makeup looks like in natural light. Can you see it? I wanna show you guys my house now. Maybe you can help me with a little bit of ideas. This is my living room and I think it looks so much better in here. This wall specifically, I'm so excited for it because I'm the type of person I definitely need, you know, wall art. I don't like an empty wall. So on this wall, I actually want to do some black and white canvases of myself. And I know it sounds very much like Terry Crews and like white chicks, but wait till I show you the pictures I'm talking about. Like be so fucking for real. These pictures as canvases, yeah, yeah. It used to be the living room, so this is my bed. I have no idea what to do with this. I have my mirror, of course, so cute, and a whiteboard, but I have no idea what to do with this entire wall, really. Over here, I want to put sepia-stained canvases of me and my friends. I think that would be beautiful. And that is it. That is my gym makeup routine, a little bit of my life update. I will catch you all in the next video, part two, where I bring you to my new gym with me. I'll basically be like a you know gym newbie, kind of. So having you guys with me will be a little bit of a security blanket. <laughs> Thank you all for spending time with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!